Um, I've been approached by a number of eminent friends among the Senate. They're troubled. And I do not say that they have grounds for anxiety, but I feel I would be remiss if I did not... not oh, do get on with it, man. Yes, yes. They're worried that perhaps we three intend to establish some form of tyranny. And who are these warriors? Give me names. That's awkward. They spoke to me in confidence. I bet they did. You tell your eminent friends to shut their mouths. Tell them to go look on Cicero's hands in the forum. And remember, what happens to those that prattle of tyranny? I only mention it. I would be remiss if I did not. You're quite right, Lepidus. Quite right. Now, shall we get down to business? Yes, by all means. Clearly we three cannot all rule together at once. We shall only confuse and contradict each other. True enough. We must divide responsibilities. So what are you proposing? I suggest we divide the territory of Rome into three. Each one of us shall assume command of one region. Sounds reasonable. Who gets what? I haven't considered that yet. But Rome is a very complex machine. One can't simply chop it up like, like, like cabbage. You should have Rome and the West. And I will make do with Egypt and the eastern provinces. Objections? Rome in the West has what? Rowdy Gauls, Germans, a fractious Senate, all the trouble of keeping the Roman mob happy. The East is where the money is. The grain supply, most of the tax revenue. Well, all the revenues would be divided equally, of course. It would be a purely administrative division. All monies would be held in a single treasury. That would work. And I? What would I get? Yes. Uh... Africa.